Michael, thank you so much. Listen, you've been following what's been going on with the Great Barrier Reef undoubtedly for years now, and therefore how surprised are you at these latest findings? Look, I've got to say, I was born on the Great Barrier Reef. I, I've seen what's happened to it myself, and even so, the, the, the loss of coral cover has been staggering. I'm, I'm surprised myself. The speed, the extent, it's, it's, it's a tragedy. Tell us why it's so important. The loss of corals is important because everything in that system depends on them. The habitat structure that corals provide makes space for fish, and the fish support people's livelihoods. The tourist industry in Queensland is enormous. In Australia, we depend on it. And it, it defines Australia to the rest of the world. And it's, it's one of these sort of, like you said yourself, it's, it's, a, it's a world heritage landmark. This is, this is who we are as people. And to see it disappear in just a space of a few decades, it's unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. So how can it be saved? To be honest, there's small things we can do around the edges. We can deal with port expansions in the coast. We can worry about fishing effort and how intense it is. But at the very bottom, what it comes down to is atmospheric carbon dioxide emissions. If we don't get CO2 under control, this is not just going to happen to the reefs of the Great Barrier Reef. It'll happen to the reefs of the Indo-Pacific, to East Africa, the Red Sea. This is, this is the end of coral seas around the world. Is it irretrievable? I mean, when a coral starts to bleach, does that mean it's definitely going to die or can it be salvaged in some way? No, corals have an incredible ability to rebound from disturbance. Um, and normally they can handle bleaching events with unusual, you know, every couple of decades or so. What we've seen on the Great Barrier Reef and what we'll start to see around the world in the decades to come is bleaching events happening with increasing severity, but most importantly, with increasing frequency. We've had a number of bleaching events in the last decade alone in Australia, some of them even in years that weren't particularly hot. And it's that, that short distance between bleaching events that really makes it hard for corals to recover. Um, we have some time, we have a window opportunity within which if we stop the buildup of atmospheric CO2 and take the right actions locally, we can turn this around. But the, the time is seriously running out for the Great Barrier Reef. What about the fish and the other marine life that live among the corals? Are they peculiar to the Great Barrier Reef and that part of the world? Because if the corals die, would they die along with it or would they be able to go and live somewhere else in another ocean somewhere? Yeah, there's nowhere else. Um, coral reefs are the rainforest of the ocean. They're, they're full of species that are found nowhere else. And the endemicity, so the degree to which species are found in only a very small place, like the southern part of the Great Barrier Reef, is really unusually high on coral reefs. If we lose the Great Barrier Reef, it would represent the loss of, of thousands of species irretrievably. It would be one of the greatest ecological catastrophes in, in world history. We're talking about thousands of of species disappearing forever, n never to return. Briefly, Michael, if you don't mind, is the Australian government doing enough? Can it do more? Yes, it can do a lot more. It can do a lot more locally and it can do a lot more internationally. I think we lag behind other countries um, and the reasons escape me. We're a country that, because of our exposure to environmental extremes, you know, you would know that Australia is a desert country. It's a, it's a dry, arid country. Um, we stand to lose the most um, of, of many countries from climate change. And yet our actions um, are, I think, are shamefully slow and underwhelming. Depressing news, Michael, but thank you. It's strange to say, but thank you for explaining it to us. Really appreciate it. Michael Bode in Brisbane.